So this is one of the best videos you could see out there. This is a Chinese boy who his name is Anthony. His mother is Chinese and his father is an Igbo man. But his father took time to allow him to learn the Igbo language so fluently as you can see him interact in Igbo language. He was speaking with his mother and his mother was giving him some tasks to carry out in the factory. While he was, you know, videoing the place and showing us I mean, doing the conversation in Igbo language. Chinese people currently are trying to make their language, they, of course, Chinese language is, I think, the second most spoken, or even the first most spoken language in the world, Mandarin Chinese. And Chinese want all countries to speak their language. China gives out, currently, China is giving out scholarship. If you can speak China, Chinese language, HSK, up to level three or four, you can get Chinese scholarship to study free and even maybe get a job there if you are you know if, um, if you're able to get a job so as they are prioritizing prioritizing their language making it mandatory in fact those that have studied in china will we attest to this that though your study medium is english and you still have chinese language to you know class to learn to learn the language so this woman you know allowed her son to learn the Igbo language. Because I know a lot of parents, even in this our own Nigeria, you see them, their kids cannot even speak their tribal language. You are from Igbo Hausa or Yoruba, because you are staying in Lagos or in, uh, in Abuja, You're, you did not allow, because it's your responsibility to at least make them know their roots. They can't even speak. When you speak to them, it's even a strange thing. Look at this boy now representing the they, they are representing her, you know, her tri his tribes, excuse me, speaking the language. He's, he's even fluent in Igbo language more than those 
that grew up in Igbo language. Sorry, in Igbo land. I mean, I just love that. Because if you if you if you meet any Chinese person, they are professors, you know, they are doctors, they are scientists. English language is nothing to them. They are speaking their Chinese language. You see a Chinese professor, a Chinese scientist that cannot even tell you come in English. But in Nigeria, we believe that English is a test of knowledge. So because you can speak fluently, you are intelligent, you are brilliant. That's where we got it all wrong. See how fluent the guy is. The young boy, his name is Anthony, his mother is Chinese, his father is from is from Igbo tribe. Maybe either Imo, Anambra, any Guruboni or Abia State. But he could speak fluently. In fact, he, I mean I mean this is this is to me is beautiful. It's now left for some of our parents out there. You are from the Yoruba tribe, Hausa tribe and Igbo tribe because maybe in Ghana there we have so many uh, tribe, uh, tribes in Nigeria but these are the three major tribes so because you are staying in Lagos or one of the cities Port Harcourt just name them or maybe you are you traveled out of Nigeria maybe Ghana or any of the countries abroad and you have opportunity to make your children your kids to know their role you don't do that so you just be speaking English for them look at this this, this young boy is appreciating the fact I mean, he loves his roots and he's just speaking it. Not that he cannot speak. This guy is, this boy is fluent in Chinese too. He could speak the Chinese language more than you. So I just love it and that's why I decided to you know, maybe create content on it and post it out here.